It's Jeff and Wilmer at Budrum and today we're doing a winter update on the Tetragonula stingless bees. Now looking at the temperature, 23 degrees centigrade, it's quarter past 11 and this is just the ideal time to, to do the update on these bees and I'll show you why. The first thing I want to mention is that as soon as we had the first bit of cold weather I covered both of my hives with this one inch polystyrene top and bottom this box has got the carbonaria bees in and as you can see here they're nicely working and we worked it out that these come out when it's about 20 degrees between 19 and 21 degrees there's a bit of a little bit of a build up behind Wilmer and, and myself now of the bees waiting for us to get out of their road so they can go in the hive We'll go over to the these Hocking's eye, even though it's 23 degrees, they're just coming out. They really haven't got about oh, five minutes ago, there wasn't one flying back into the hive. One just flew into the hive just then. So five minutes ago there wasn't one flying back into the hive. These are native to North Queensland and according to the book that I read these are, are rarely found it this far south because these are, are more cold sensitive than the carbonaria I've wrapped them up permanent uh, until the end of winter we'll go back to the carbonaria so as you can see they're well, these carbonaria are well and truly working I've made it so that we can still take the top off and show anybody that might be interested uh, sort of take that off and even though I put the foam on top and I've doubled up on the ply they still feel the need I'm going to take the ply off so I'm not going to remove the perspex I don't want to get a burst of cold air into it so you can see even though I've got uh, I've doubled up on the ply and I've got that one inch foam they still feel they have to put the, their own insulation above the brood so before we had the cold weather set in they had their brood right up to the perspex and that was without the foam so as soon as we get into, into spring weather they'll take the foam away I'm going to split this one twice uh, they're going to do a three way split and then uh, do a two-way split on the Hocking's eye. They've Funny got all that. They haven't done this side, isn't it? Over the, there. They've got their big brood tower there, and Amazing. back on this side, you can see all their honey. I'll just turn it around. It's sort of hard to see, but through the perspex, but there's the honey is getting a real build-up of honey pots. So even during the winter, they're still building up the honey pots, are getting an increase. Amazing. I dare say that the other bees will be struggling to get an increase, but hopefully they've got enough to keep them going. That's about it. So I'll close these. I'll put the lid back on this again. So I'm going to put this in back now. We'll see how many's out. Wow. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you later. Bye.